Peggy 18. The following memorandum is classified and falls under your TS-76C non-disclosure agreement. Any deviation from this will result in maximum prosecution. In 1958, the Soviet Union launched the Verona-1 satellite to secure their lead in the space race. The Verona entered stable orbit around Earth-Moon Lagrange Point 2 and began transmitting deep space telemetry back to Earth. But after communication ceased, a manned mission was sent to investigate. When the repair team found no external issues, Soviet leadership ordered the cosmonauts to breach the satellite. In the moments that followed, the cosmonauts encountered something unprecedented, a non-terrestrial life form. All members of the mission were lost. The footage was labeled a state secret and buried. After two years of silence, the Soviets contacted the U.S. and pleaded for help with containing the threat. Kennedy agreed. In 1963, the U.S.-Soviet collaboration resulted in the Kletka program, a permanent installation to contain the non-terrestrials. But the historic partnership was short-lived. Following a failed assassination attempt, an emboldened Kennedy returned to office and seized control of the joint program. And in the two decades that followed, the U.S. evolved the station into a fully functional R&D facility. American teams studied the non-terrestrials, now labeled Typhon, but were unable to harness their enigmatic abilities into military or commercial applications. After an unfortunate containment failure led to the death of an entire research team, the U.S. shuttered the project in 1998. The station was abandoned. The Transtar Corporation secured the derelict station and transformed it into Talos One, a cutting-edge innovation center. In just five short years, the team aboard Talos One has achieved a greater understanding of the Typhon organisms than three decades of government research. And soon, innovations from our psychotronics division will redefine what it means to be human.